This episode is brought to you by Broke Ass to Badass, our signature eight-week online course. Our program is the school where you learn to hustle less and focus on what really matters, getting your products, services, and gifts out to the world. Our program is all the branding, tech, social media, and mindset support that you've been looking for. And this is your one-stop shop for building the badass business of your dreams. And guys, fall enrollment for this program is closing August 31st. We'll tell you more about that in this episode, but if you have been waiting for the right time to jump in, now's the time. Jump on over to brokeastobadass.com slash apply and book a breakthrough call with us. Welcome to Broke Ass to Badass. We're Kimi and Pua, digital media nerds and jujitsu loving business coaches, joyously obsessed with creating freedom for heartlet entrepreneurs. We're here to help you go from frustrated to fierce, from hustle to flow, from broke ass to badass. Find out more about us at bledigital.com. And wherever you're listening, be sure to click subscribe so you never miss an episode. Hey guys, you might notice that we are here on a different day, and that's because we have so much to share with you. <laughs> so happy August to you. Today's episode, we are, we're here to kind of, you know, say, hey, check in. It's August. It's almost 2019. We want to make sure that you are on track to hit those Ugh, I don't even want to say the word goals, but <laughs> whatever it was that you are intending for 2018, we are here to support you and to just do a little bit of an inventory and see where you're at and where you want to go for the remaining four months of this beautiful, badass year. I think it's so funny that you just said it's almost 2019 and it's like, it's August, <laughs> guys. It's still summer, but it's kind of almost 2019. Like I remember... I think we even did an, a podcast episode on this for, it was like back in hot, better pop days. And it was like how to set yourself up for like a great fall or something. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how in August, like I remember seeing uh, Christmas decorations at Costco in August. And I was <laughs> like, what is happening? But it's true. It is. Yeah. And I, I think too, it's because, you know, as we know, fall, especially for, for parents and, you know, the, it can be kind of a busier time of year. So that's what I think about. I'm like, oh my gosh, like fall, it, it blows by pretty fast and then come the holidays. And so it is, um, it's a full season. It's a full, the last four months of the year tend to be a little bit full, but also really joyous. And so I think that's why people start, uh, yeah, thinking about, oh my gosh, 2019. But can I, also just say like 2019 like what the f that is like crazy future i can't even believe it i'm tripping so out crazy. i'm tripping out on time i really am and i think it's so it's just so crazy how life happens like it's just if you feel like life has just been happening to you like that's a sign also and I I feel like I don't feel that way as much anymore now that we have this business and that mm -hmm. we're you know helping people change their lives and doing what we love but I definitely had that feeling when it was like the grind every day same deal same routine and all of a sudden like an entire year goes by and you're like what did I actually do did I accomplish anything. And that's why we are so such strong believers in celebrating yourself every week and making sure that you're being mindful of what you actually are doing, because no matter what you do, you are accomplishing great things. And we don't often give ourselves enough credit for that. Um, but what we really want to share in this episode is like what we are put on this planet to do and what our mission is at this point in our lives is to support people who want to make money doing what they love. That's really what we do. And that's what an entrepreneur is. It's somebody who's figured out how to make money doing what they love, hopefully. And for us to be in this position where we're talking to people saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's almost 2019 and I'm still not doing the thing that I want to do. Like we are so thrilled to offer a solution to that. And if if you are, you know, problem a problem solver and solution oriented and you don't just want to hear yourself complain but you actually want to do something about that, like this is for you. And we want you to know that our 8-week program that we're going to share more about today and more about some of the perks that are coming in August, but this is an 8-week course that takes you from 0 to 1000 in in 8 weeks. Like you don't have to have a business to join our program, but by the end 
you could be making money doing what you love. And eight weeks from now, it's still 2018. So beautiful. Yes, I think for sure. I love that you said this. Like, it's like the cure for that anxiousness around time is to take bold action and do what you love, right? Because mm-hmm. that brings you that peace of mind of like, yeah, like time, it's that, what is the saying, right? Time is flying, but you're the pilot. And when you really take control of your life and take inspired action to your bold dreams, you don't feel stressed about time passing. You might trip out on it like I am, like, oh, wow, life is a trip. But you're not feeling that anxiety around like, oh my gosh, my life is flying by and I haven't make made the moves that will bring me closer to this dream life that I've been envisioning for myself. And we we're so excited. You guys are going to love the episode that comes out next week. It is uh, featuring one of the graduates from our program, Oliveira. And I was, so we were both so moved by this. And I was actually just journaling, journaling a little bit about, I was like, I, I, we were in tears listening to her speak and just witnessing everything that she's created in the past couple months working with us and just seeing her go from uh, just an idea, just a calling in her heart to a beautiful, badass online business. I mean, it's really, it was really a full circle moment and very moving. And what I was writing about and reflecting on was it wasn't just so moving because of the pride, I think, that we were feeling for her. And of course, witnessing somebody doing what they love and seeing their dreams come to fruition, like, yeah, that is freaking awesome for sure. But there was also like this uh, really deep um, emotional connection that I felt and, and feeling really moved by thinking about the people that didn't aren't going to make a choice like Oliveira to say yes to that calling in their soul and that the possibility that there are people with dreams that are, that they could leave this planet without fulfilling them because they're not taking the inspired action to do what it takes and that these dreams just are, are sitting there in their hearts unexpressed. Their gifts are sitting in their bodies <laughs> and just, you know, unexpressed there and not being shared with the world. And I think that as we've said many times, there is nothing that breaks our heart more than unfulfilled dreams that die inside of somebody. And so as much as we were celebrating Oliveira's um, amazing transformation, it was also this like, wow, like we cannot, anything that we can do to help people to, to get their gifts out there and not let them die inside of them, we need to do that. We need to do whatever it takes because that is our fucking mission. Totally, totally. And what I think, I keep thinking about our interview with Shauna Lee also. Um, You guys will hear this in September. We'll be sure to share it with you guys. But we did an interview with the host of the Soul Frequency podcast yesterday, Shauna Lee. And she, at the end of her interviews, she asks a series of four questions. And I I get my, my interview amnesia and I cannot for the life of me remember what the question really was, but I remember the answer. And I remember it's just like, it's sticking with me like, like tar because she, we talked about like, what is when you really let yourself be silent with your thoughts and ask yourself the the hard question of like, are you happy? That's, that's really it. Like, are you happy? Are you doing the things in life that make you feel good? Do you, are you happy with how you spend your time? Are you happy with where you are? And if the answer is like, we don't want to ask ourselves those questions and be honest with ourselves because we're afraid that the answer is no. Because if the answer is no, we can no longer live in the ignorance of like, well, I didn't know I wasn't happy. How was I supposed to know that? Right? Like I, it, things seem to be working just fine. We don't want to give ourselves that silence to be honest with ourselves because we're afraid. And when we do answer and the answer is no or maybe the answer is maybe you are happy but you know that there's something else you want to be doing or you know you're being called to serve in another way but that's scary to you like hiding that that truth and not doing something about it is like sorry guys but it's super selfish not because like not only is it selfish to you because you could be so fulfilled and happy and like it's so rewarding to live in that way. But there are people out there who need your solution to their pain 
so badly that every single time they go to sleep, they pray for a solution and you have it and you are giving it to them. So I don't want to make anybody feel bad. And I, I'm not, it's not my intention. I don't want to be like, like shaming you, but it, I just feel so strongly about this. And this is what fires us up. This is why we do what we do so that people who have gifts, but don't know how they don't know how to get their gift out to the world. They don't know how to expand their service to help as many people as they can. They don't know how to make the money that they need to survive and serve. That's why we built broke ass to badass. And that's what broke ass to badass does. So if you're sitting there and this speaks to you and you're like, Oh my God, I, I, I know that I have to do something. Whether or not you work with us, it's up to you. We just want you to take action. We just want you to do something. And of course, because it's our program, we think ours is the best. And (laughs) if you work with us, like you will in eight weeks have everything you need to take your business to the next level or to create a business out of what you love. But for the love of God, like do something with that gift. Yes. Amen. And One really, like, let's just give you one action step to start with. If you do nothing else from listening to this episode, block out half an hour, half an hour on your calendar. If you can't find half an hour on your calendar, we go back and listen to our episodes on time and energy management, Uh, but half an hour on your calendar where you just sit with a piece of paper and ask yourself that exact question that Pua posed earlier. Are, am I happy? Am I happy? It's such a simple but powerful question. And just sit and ask yourself, are, are you right now thriving? Are you feeling good in all areas of your life? What is your soul, soul calling you to do? What is going on with you physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually? It doesn't, the questions don't matter as much as the intention to just sit down and listen because you have all the answers within. We're just moving so darn fast these days and we're so good at not slowing down so that we don't have to ask ourselves the questions that as Pua said, we don't necessarily we might not, our egos might not want to hear the answer, right? That's what can be scary. We're afraid. We're afraid of what, that we're going to have to create change from this place. But know that everything, that luscious, beautiful, fulfilling life that you dream of, it's on the other side of that discomfort of being willing to sit in quiet and ask yourself what you really want. And if you need support with this, oh my goodness, this is our jam. This is what we do. (laughs) That is what we are here for. And we are really just a click away. For sure. Yeah. And it's, I think, uh, as you answer this question and think about what change could take place. And so there's a lot of, there's a lot of fear. Yes. Around this. And just like, acknowledging that it will require change. And beyond that, we often get stuck in that, like, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if I do this and it doesn't work? What if I do this and I don't have enough money? What if I do this and I can't feed my family? What if I blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's, those are legitimate fears. I will like, I will straight up say like that could happen and it has happened and people have survived the worst of owning businesses. People go into bankruptcy. People blow their savings. People, you know, go into foreclosure on their homes. Like I'm not going to lie and say that that doesn't happen. But what I will say is for everything that you're afraid of, there is another side of that. With the right support, with the right help, with the right community, there is so much potential for this to work. There's potential for you to thrive. There's potential for you to quadruple the income that you have now just by doing what you love. And if you're willing to take that risk and and know that like the worst that could happen is this and you will survive that. But the best that could happen is this and that's life changing, right? So it's so important when we feel those fears coming in to not let it debilitate you and to really remember there are two sides of fear. And Fear is our only our brains trying to help us survive, whereas our hearts are telling us truth. Our hearts are really what keeps us alive. Our brains are just trying to like make the smart move, right? Like our brains are only as smart as our past experiences, where our heart holds that like 
like DNA intelligence, that like deep seated truth that our brains can't comprehend. And I know that sounds so freaking out of this world bananas that you probably may have like turned this off, but I hope you did it because it's true. Like, I, I don't know how else to describe this. And that's really what we're here for is to encourage you and know that this is, we've created communities specifically for this. We, we went through all the shit that owning a business can take you through with the exception of going into bankruptcy. Like, trust me on this. And we're taking all that shit and we're putting it into our course to teach you how to not have to go there. And our communities are helping you to not have to go there. So this is like, this is such a safe space for you to take that leap. And we're just like, it. we're so fired up because we just want people to know this and understand the power that we have here. And we just want to share it with as many people as we can. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and looking at those two questions, right? Your, the results in your life and the quality of your life is going to be determined. Are you going about your life asking the question, what if I fail? What if this doesn't work? What if I can't, ha- you know, create this? What if I can't do that? You're, you're going to, your brain, right? It's like what Tony Robbins says. Your brain is like a computer. It's going to look for reasons why you can't. But if you start asking yourself, what if this does work? What if I could? What if I could create this? What, how, how can I do this? Who can I reach out to? Right? Asking better questions is going to lead you to a better quality of life. So as those fears come up for you, really, really take a moment to write them down at, in inventory, the questions that you're asking yourself, because if you're not satisfied with the quality of life that you're living right now, guaranteed it's because of the questions that you're asking. And so this is a really great way for you to begin to shift your energy and into a place of limitless possibility. Yeah, for sure. And it's like, we just want to tell you guys too, owning a business. Okay. So I I don't know if you guys will be able to relate with this at all, but I'm just going to throw it out there in case you can. So when I was in my like lower twenties, like right when I graduated from college and kind of maybe had a couple of years of work experience under my belt, I realized that school was, and I don't know, I I would never go back to school, but I, at the time I was like school, I'm better at school than I am at life. And I like school because I have opportunities to like select classes that help me to feel like I'm continuing to learn. Whereas in this job that I'm at, I have become proficient at the tasks at hand. I don't really feel like I'm, I'm growing. And and then I started to feel like stagnant and I started exploring all sorts of graduate school options because I wanted to continue to grow and learn and be challenged and like expand my mind. And this was something that I couldn't really grasp. Like, I'm like, okay, well, is this just what life is? Like, you get a job, and then if you want to learn more, you go back to school. Like, th- that seemed like the option. So I did. I went back to school. It was really fun. I learned a lot. And, but then I went back into the workforce, right? So it's like, at what point do you, do, did I realize that there was a third option? I don't even know, but it was probably around the time that I met Kimi and we decided to like do this whole business thing. <laughs> and, and I always knew like you, people have businesses, but it's this, it it tends to be this almost like unicorn thing where like, oh, they can have a business, but they, they understand it. Like they get it or, oh, I'm sure they've been doing this for a while. So that's why they're successful. I'll tell you what guys, no one is born knowing how the F to run a business. Not a single person. Everybody's figuring it out as they go. Again, that's the power of community and being around people who have figured this out before you did. And I'm not saying that it's always super easy and like rainbows and unicorns because it can be really, really hard. And that's what's fun about it. Like that to me, like every time we are challenged, Kimi and I get together and we brainstorm and it's like, it's frustrating and and we can't figure this out. And then we do, and then we take it to the next level. And then we like figure out the next set of problems. And it's so, it's really fun. Like, I know it sounds crazy right now also has been like a really crazy time for us. So for me to say that feels weird, (laughs) but isn't it? It's it is. Fun. You know, it is fun. And and I will tell you this, being where we are now, like life is not boring. And there is just <laughs> that is the understatement of the century. <laughs> but it's so true. And and I remember, it, you know, it, it's just a different. You know what? Actually, this is a perfect way to describe it. When we were, I think it was actually Shauna's interview. And you described what life as an entrepreneur was is like. It's like 
uh, all of us, like you're living in black and white. And then all of a sudden now it's, everything is in color. And so you're feeling everything at like a much more intense level, the highs, the lows, the everything, like you're all of a sudden living in full color. And I think of it like, uh, what is it? Wizard of Oz, right? Where it's like black and white and you're like, yeah, you know, oh, you know what it's like? It's like Truman Show. Remember that? Oh yeah. Where yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. everything is black and white and da da da. And then they start feeling things, feeling everything, feeling the, the, like the, the busyness, uh, the overwhelm, the, the love, the, the, you know, crushing heartbreak, the whatever it is, like feeling real emotions mm -hmm. to that full expansion that we can feel. Like that is what we are meant to experience as humans. And so then, yeah, like in that movie, it, and then how I feel in our life is then everything begins to be brighter, more colorful, and you can't go back. That's the thing. You can't go back once yeah. you see that, once you feel a taste for that. And so, let yourself begin to feel that because it will take you exactly where you want to go. And um, yeah, it's a colorful, beautiful world. Totally. I, I always feel like it's we're in the matrix and like we we have lived life in this one dimension of the matrix and then all of a sudden we like – unplug ourselves and now we see it's like when you see neo like looking at the code on the computer but he's seeing the the reality mm -hmm. so like now when i look at businesses i'm not like oh that's such a pretty store i want to go inside and buy stuff i say like hmm i wonder who designed that like storefront sticker hmm, i wonder like how they how much they're paying to like outsource the the creation of this apparel and like it's you see the world in like an entirely new dynamic. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. I will say like some of the magic is ruined <laughs> depending <laughs> on like where I go, but I don't care because I wouldn't want it any other way. And I love being able to have conversations with business owners and, and like really just kind of shoot the shit and, and, and find out what their experience has been like. It's just such a fun community. And I think if you're listening to this, you are also being called to experience this. And I don't think it's for everybody. I, don't, I think some people are totally meant to support others and thank God, right? Because mm -hmm. it, it, without that, we'd all have our own business and then it would be a really hard pl way to make money uh, and like serve and, and really like create the infrastructure that the world functions on. Um, and there are ways to definitely like share your gifts through being employed. So we're not saying everybody needs to go and quit their job. And if like, if you're happy, don't talk yourself into being unhappy because you think the only way is to be an entrepreneur. <laughs> That's not really what we're doing. But, it, you know, if this is speaking to you, and I think if you're listening to this, it probably is, it's time. It's really time. And we're so excited to share with you some of the cool things that we're doing this month to make this transition really fun, really exciting for you, um, and to support you in the best way that we can. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Yes. Uh, okay. First, first up, call to action. If you're not in the tribe already, I just want to throw this in there. bit.ly slash ble tribe. Uh, that's our free Facebook group. And it's a really amazing community full of entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, big dreamers. Uh, just want to give you like one really clear place clear plan of action that you can, or action step that you can take from this episode first and foremost, because we're going to be sharing uh, a lot of stuff in there. It's a great place to stay connected. If you have any questions about our program, it's a great place to just drop them right there and, and connect with us and reach out to us. So that's, that's one thing. Yeah. And the other cool thing that's happening this month. So, uh, we are closing enrollment to B2B August 31st. And I think you've probably been seeing messaging about that in your email and on our social media. Um, but we are, we're closing and it's not forever, but there is, there's a catch <laughs> <laughs> and the, so we are going to reopen. We don't know when. Okay. So there's that. First of all, second, we are closing because it is time for us to revamp this program. And while it is amazingly powerful, it's extremely valuable, the content is top notch, it's it's time for us to to level up because I, you know, we we say this all the time that we are constantly changing and evolving and this program is changing and evolving with us. So it's been almost a year and we are so ready to beef this thing up. We are bringing in new guest trainers. We are uh, redoing some of our trainings to 
reflect some of the changes in the social media world, in the web development world. Like we are just going to take this to the next level. And if you jump in in August, you actually will be able to experience both the course as it is now, super valuable, and also keep access to all of the trainings forever, including anything that we update. So, and with those updates is going to come a price increase. So you guys are able to get in now at the current price, which is going away forever. And you'll be able to experience all of the amazing things that we're adding to the course in the next few months for the same price. So this is kind of a no brainer. Like if we weren't the creators of the course, we would be (laughs) booking breakthrough calls and signing up because this is this is freaking epic. Yes, we we created the dream course that that we needed, that we wanted and we're so proud of it and you know just to give you an idea cuz a lot of people ask this question, you know, uh just in terms of the format of it. So it's a little bit of one-on-one coaching, it's group coaching, it's an amazing community and it's as Pua shared a, a whole platform of training. So it really is the best of all worlds in terms of business coaching. So you guys are going to be hearing uh, from some of our graduates this month on the podcast. We're really excited to bring them on, including, as we shared, Olivera's episode, which you're going to hear next Tuesday. It's so awesome, guys. It's like, I'm going to listen to that over and over and over. And we told her actually after, I don't know if we were on still or not, but afterwards we were like, this is honestly one of our favorite episodes Mm -hmm. of all time. And what I think you guys are going to love most is her, you can hear in her voice, she is almost like heartbroken that more people aren't, haven't gone through what she went through and like figured out their gifts. Like, I don't know how to describe this. And you guys can like say, comment on the post next week. Be like, Pua, this is what you were trying to say and you did a really bad job. (laughs) Or, you know, but um, yeah, we just can't, we're so excited about it. We just did it yesterday. So it's still really fresh in our minds. Um, But yeah, that's going to be so epic. And again, throughout the month, we'll have lots and lots of interviews with our graduates. And something we're really excited about also this month is um, our charity of the month is actually a charity that's really near and dear to our hearts. Um, And it's a charity that I helped to co-found with two friends. And it's the Wild Aloha Foundation. And our whole mission is to provide support for the people and the organizations on the ground helping to rescue and protect the endangered species in the world. So we're just like, oh my God, I could cry every time I think about it and talk about it. But it's, it's like, I can't believe that Something that means so much to me and to us, like we're actually, we created something that can actually help, you know, because it's one thing to be like, oh, I'm so sad that the rhinos are disappearing, but then like to actually like create a vehicle to support it financially. And I I don't know, it's just like, it's, it is so (laughs) badass. I have to say, like, it's just, this is, and this is, I feel like it's part of the way that you begin to see the world differently as an entrepreneur, right? Because you're like, oh yeah, let's, I have this calling in my heart. I'm going to create something to be able to, to heal the pain that I feel and to help the world. And so you have the, the tools and the ability to do something about those feelings that you have inside. And so, so I am just, I, I think it's such an inspiration. I mean, for sure, the cause is so beautiful. I hear you, you know, talking about it. And then, you know, you were just, you, it's something that you talked about before. And then all of a sudden you had the foundation. It's just like, <laughs> it's so cool. And so uh, it, it's just such a great message for everybody to realize that we we can take these feelings that we have and turn them into really beautiful creations. So I couldn't be more excited. It's like as if realizing your big dreams wasn't enough through our program, like part of that is going to go and support this like amazing foundation that was Yay. created by you and your amazing co-founders. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being yeah. an inspiration for all of us. <laughs> and I have to say, like, because it is only because we are doing what we do that I felt confident enough to like pull the trigger on this. And it's because we've uh, over the years learned how to do a, how to make a business, like how to create an organization, do the website, do the social media, be in alignment, get clarity, find good partners. Like it's, and we teach it in our course. Like I, I could be a B2B graduate mm-hmm. using Wild Aloha Foundation. It's so cool. Um, and so just so you guys know, if, if you are able to jump into the program this month, um, what you will be helping to fund is, uh, our first 
So we're doing a fundraising event in September and it's called Winos for Rhinos. Brilliant. And <laughs> someone told me the other day, they were like, I'm so excited to drink wine and save rhinos. Everybody wins. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, that's it's so true. so true. Right. Um, so we're supporting an organization called Care for Wild, which is an orphanage and sanctuary in South Africa. Um, and we've been working and, and communicating closely with them, which is so cool. Like technology is so cool. We can talk to people in Africa about saving rhinos. It's just like so crazy. But um, yeah, they're an amazing organization. We've done a lot of research on them. So we know that they are doing really beautiful work in the world. And so that's really our first mission is to help support the disappearing rhino population. And we can share more about it later. I can go on forever. But um, yeah, if you guys feel called to support that cause, definitely jump in in August. Love it so much and love that. I mean, like this is like a testimony too for the time and energy and productivity, purposeful productivity strategies that we have in the course, because look at what you've been able to do. Like, <laughs> like, you know, Pua in her spare time and just is like working on this, you know, building a foundation called Wild Aloha Foundation. So <laughs> yeah, you just never cease to amaze me. So thank you. And I, I love August. Happy birthday month to you. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we will see you in the tribe, bit.ly slash BLE tribe. You can also follow us on Instagram at broke ass to badass. And if you're ready to hop on a, a breakthrough call with us, find out more about our program, you can go to bledigital.com slash apply. 